Hello and welcome everybody. We're gonna be continuing to brew Green White Reclaimer in Legacy. Uh, if you're not familiar with this deck, it's because it's not really a deck. This is a modern deck uh, that I have been, uh, that I started to develop in its early stages and it became a, a tier deck nowadays. So I'm trying to see if maybe something similar can be done in Legacy, who knows. I am a big fan of Maverick style strategies, uh, so this is something a little bit similar. The engine is different, obviously, because we are using the engine of Flagstone slash Elvish Reclaimer. And uh, this is very, very much a, toolbo a toolbox deck, just like Maverick. We have access to uh, Tireless Tracker, Remnant of Excavator, we have Dryads, which obviously combo with our Valakut the Molten Pinnacle. Uh, also, Skyclave Apparition is, is a pretty powerful uh, card that got printed recently, which has been really showing up in Legacy all over the place. Uh, Thalia is significantly better in Legacy than it is in Modern, so even though Thalia was in one of my early lists uh, for what I called Titan Vile, um, but in Legacy, I think that the card is a lot, lot more powerful than it is in Modern. So I am a lot more excited about playing it nowadays in, in Legacy than I... In Modern, we don't even play it at all. Uh, I have been tinkering with this list. Uh, you can watch my VODs on YouTube. You can see the early lists where I made some pretty bad mistakes. Like in my in my very first list, I didn't even put Caracas in my deck because I'm an idiot. So uh, I didn't even play Caracas and I... I got paired against Depths and I'm like, oh, that's right, we sh this deck should play Caracas, obviously. Um, so th it's it's been a learning process and it's been a <clears throat> it's been a, a deck that has been working its way up uh, a little bit. Uh, but I have started to have some pretty consistent results, like three twos and four ones, no five O's just yet in leagues. Um, but uh, the deck has been a ton of fun and I'm still trying out new cards. Uh, Yasharn Implacable Earth is one that we're going to be trying out uh, today. Um, so we're going to see how this guy works out. Um, honestly, I have no idea how good this card will be. Uh, it should be okay. It should be okay, but we're, we're going to see how, how it works. Uh, the sideboard is another thing that I've been working a, a lot with. I have had uh, like mind break traps and stuff like that in the sideboard. Uh, no, not mind break trap. Uh, no, yeah, Mind Break Trap, the, the one that counters all the spells. I think I think that's Mind Break Trap, I don't remember the name. Uh, but yeah, so we're playing uh, some Containment Priests, uh, which actually I was a little bit impressed by. It, of course, is a Numbo with our Green Sun Zenith, but Containment Priest is pretty solid against the, um, against the Show and Tail decks and Graveyard decks and stuff. Archon of Emeria against Combo, same thing with Deafening Silence. Uh, Path and Source of Plowshares against Delver, Surgical Extractions against Combo, Veil of Summer, also pretty good against a Control and stuff like that. Force of Vigor against the decks where you think you might want Force of Vigor, and Knight of Autumn, same reason. Maverick is a deck Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I honestly have no idea where the... I have no idea where the, the deck name originated. But this this is from back when deck names well were kind of all over the place. This hand is actually kind of interesting. We're on the play. I think I'm gonna ship it. We could have gone for turn two, turn two reclaimer. But I think this is this is fine. Uh, this I think I like this hand better. I'm gonna bottom the redundant dryad. Wait, I, I understand your question, Nobex. I just don't know the answer. Yep. Turn one, Temple Garden. Go. <laughs> My opponent must be like, wait, wait, what? Well, that sucks. Because now that my hand doesn't really do anything. I think we overall do have a pretty solid um, Death and Taxes matchup, so that's good. Would be awesome, absolutely awesome if my 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 opponent didn't have a mom. 
Yeah, Containment Priest is pretty good against Vile decks for sure. No Mums is great news for us. Mum there would have honestly been quite devastating. Put in place their own Thalia. Interesting. I think I'm going to attack with both. If my body wants to trade Thalias, that's that's good for me. I think. So let's do one, two, three, four. We're gonna play a Sharn. Uh, where are my planes? Oh, it makes you search one, one at a time. That is so weird. Why would they make you search the planes one at a time? It's kind of strange. So I imagine they're gonna get batter skull. They do get batter skull, so I think I'm just gonna plow this right now. Like I wish I didn't have to use a plow on a, on a stone forge, but uh, butter skull is actually it just lines up very well against what I have going on, right? So. Make things very awkward. I've got a little bit on the vile flooded side of things. And we're also very much on the flooded side of things as well. Um, no fear. I'm holding on to the lands because if I draw a Valakut, they become triggers. That's my that's my opponent really have nothing to be doing over there. That is wild. That was a heinous draw, also by the way. I guess I don't want to F six do that. I don't want to yield to that. Uh, if this is a recruiter, things are gonna go south really quick. Oh, wow. That's brutal. Okay, that's why my opponent didn't do anything. That's why my opponent never did anything for so long. And they also have GT. Jeez. All right, we're gonna need something here. Collector Oof would be great. Skyclave Apparition. That deals with the GT, which I probably cannot beat so sure let's do that and if we trade here we end up with the better end of the deal also my opponent having vials and not having uh lands is great because they cannot leverage this battle slow just yet White Temple Garden because we play Field of the Dead in this deck. Turns out Maverick is named after Lucy Siena, whose nickname is Maverick. There I go. Oh no, I misclicked. I got I got distracted by Matt's Matt's subscription with the tier one sub. Thank you so much, Matt. Really appreciate the eight months of support. Thank you for that. Ooh, hello. Don't have another operation, another Flicker Wisp. Oh, shit. Womp womp. So the good thing is that we have a lot of good draws here. I can't believe I didn't take the trade, man. That's so brutal. That was such a bad, ended up being such a bad misclick. Holy shit. 
Ended up being such a punishing misclick. Forgot it was Legacy Wednesdays. Hell yeah. That might have been a bad play. <laughs> that might have been a super bad play, actually. Uh, yes, I, I'm not thinking. I need to slow down. This matchup is way too close to be throwing like this. Now I wasted a very, very, very important plow on a stupid Thalia. At this point, I don't think that we have any draws. We're just dying in the air to the Flicker Wisps. Man, that, that one misclick ended up being so punishing. I think we actually win that game. Yeah, we drew prime time, but it just doesn't do anything anymore because we are dead on, the, on my opponent's next turn. Brutal. Let's see. Are there any lands that save us? No, there are not. If we had access to Radiant Fountain, maybe. But yeah. Yeah, I, I just I just threw that game. I should have won. No, it wouldn't have only been two more life, but my opponent wouldn't have had the access to their, their own operation, which they blink and they exiled my reclaimer, and then the reclaimer just wins by itself. So it was it was very very bad because of multiple reasons honestly. I think this is fine sideboarding. So yeah, that that not taking that trade because of the misclick ended up being the difference between winning and losing because I think we win the game pretty easily if we if we do take that trade. My opponent cannot answer my reclaimer. And then we just we just take over with the reclaimer. That's okay. That's okay. Um, it's my fault. It's my fault. I mean, it is Matt's fault. We all know this, right? It was Maddie's fault. Uh, I don't think I can keep this. I do like this hand, however. Let's keep this one. Uh, and I think I'm gonna bottom the Scoozy. Put in most five. Uh, of course I'm once upon a time in for a green source, and if I do find one, that will do. Mm. Yeah, I think I want to Go get it an arbor. I could wait and turn to and turn to look for a reclaimer. Oh wow, that's awesome. So we get to kill mom and we get to play collect roof. And next turn we get to tracker plus land. Some pretty good exchanges. They're gonna get to feast and famine? Uh, well, I'm definitely letting my opponent do that. Like, if they spend their turn doing all that stuff and I get to just plow whatever they do, it's great for me. The classic combo. But that's fine. No, no, I, I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm not too worried about it. So that has to mean that they have access to... That has to mean that they have access to an answer to the oof or something. Because they got sort of his defense, or they just have the battle skull in hand. It's probably, it's probably that they have battle skull in hand. Seems more likely.
I think I'm gonna attack. They take it. Gonna waste Caracas. And now I am going to, if my opponent attacks, I'm gonna plow the Skyclave and just block the Stoneforge. Now that they did that, obviously I'm not gonna do it because they're planning on using this Stoneforge in a different way, but. We have to plow the, the mom before it's too late. They could have plow plus. Yeah, they just don't have the batter school. They just don't have the skull. That's weird. Okay. What's this? They exile their own dude. We get a 3-3. And now they exile the collector roof. Makes sense. This means we get to crack. Get another plow, which is interesting. Something good? <laughs> Almost something good. The only issue that I have with this is that they're gonna get to, they're just, now they're winning the race, right? So now I have to stand back. Okay, land please, land. Nice. So now we are the ones that win the race. Uh, double field, yes please. Everybody's best friend is here. Prime time. I really hope my opponent, oh yeah, this, this, this deck really incentivizes the best the best uh, sentences. Uh, that's not very good. That's just a three mana two two. Guess my opponent really needs a blocker. Take three. I know, costing six, actually an upside right here. <laughs> Actually an upside. Um, okay. That's a pretty good draw. So that is game. We take the sword and then my opponent can never get through. Decent draw right there. Path to exile. Um, I think I'm actually interested. They didn't waste land. That was kind of a mistake from my opponent. Um, that, that's why I got the planes, right? If I had gotten a forest, my opponent wastelands my land in response and then we don't get triggers. I'm feeling ahead here. <laughs> Tiny bit ahead. This mean wasteland is fine in MH2. Yeah, exactly. Like, just reprint wasteland. Okay. 
Uh, game number three. Oh, do we want? How do we feel about Containment Priest in this matchup? It is certainly interesting, but the issue that I have with Containment Priest is that it actually blanks one of my best cards in the matchup. Yeah, I th I think I'm. No I think I don't want it. Because they have no ways of stopping my Zenith, so I think that... Also, it makes their Flicker Wisp super powerful. So, yeah, no, that, that's, that's a, a couple too many reasons to not want to do that, I think. Uh, I think I'm going to keep this one. My opponent moves to 6. Okay, they do nothing, so I think I'm not going to play anything on 1. I think I'm just gonna get the field out of the way. Stone Forge. We don't care about too much about that one because we have Knight of Autumn. Ooh, hell yeah. Reclaimer. We got the Plow OP because you kind of need it now. No plow seems to be the plan. So here's Splinter Twin. Should I play Arnave in Mind Sensor? I don't think I should, right? There's no way. Yeah, I'm not gonna play around it. We're gonna take four here, no big deal. What's up, last man? How's it going? Awesome. Sword of Feast and Famine. Let's get Temple Garden out of the way. And I think we just get another Flagstones. If they port me, that would be great. Oh, that's an insane draw. That's such a good draw. So what this does, I can force the action. And I can blow up the port. Then I can... Huh, actually, I think I just... Let's think about this for a second. So we play Wasteland, we sack. Then we play a land that we will need to use our second land drop, unfortunately. Um, I think I'm just gonna play Dryad. We're gonna play this and sack flagstones, get Valakut. This forces the action. Okay. Then we play this, we kill the other stone forge. And now they will equip and after they have spent their mana, we plow the battle skull and we win from there. Easy. Put an up to 28 life. Clearly they're winning. Spirit of the Labyrinth, you got it. If you have a plow, you have to use it now. If I am top. So now, now basically my opponent will never get to play another creature. I 
I mean, they will get to play creatures. They will just die immediately. Yeah, I think that you might have be you might have gone a little tiny bit too greedy here, opponent. So, um, one and one. I think I'm definitely interested in wastelanding my opponent out of this game. Yep. Drive so good. <laughs> I'm nuts, Black Thunder. Yes, hell yeah, I'm nuts. Of course I'm nuts. Yeah, my opponent just... I don't know what they were thinking there. Like, whenever... When they played the second Caracas in order to have a white source, it was pretty clear that they have some form of removal. But I don't understand why they don't just main phase. I guess they didn't want to give me a token, but in not giving me a token, they basically... They basically made it so it just didn't matter, right? Like, whatever, whatever I... They just give me a free way to kill their stuff. So they didn't give me value in giving me a token. They gave me value by killing their stuff, which is even more valuable. If only there was zero step in the side in the lands, nah. Splinter Twin! Splinter Twin. Splinter Twin. Actually, you can play Splinter Twin in Legacy, so... Oh, okay, so we're, we're just not gonna get a turn. Am I really going to die to... Oh. It's just oops. All right. Well, nothing to do here. It's just an all-in combo deck, and we just lost the lead on turn one. Just kind of what it is. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to concede right here. I guess I'm, I'm going to look for the ring condition, which is Thassa's Oracle. No, wait, what? Oh, it's, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, never mind. So I'm not going to show them what I'm doing, right? Just going to concede. So it, it's a little bit different in like it, it just has more like fast mana because you just have access to this stuff. So like the, the fast mana is a lot better. And of course, Caval Rit and like Dark Rit, obviously. Um, and then you also have Caval Therapy. Man, I was excited about my my hand and everything, and it just didn't matter. We do have stuff here. We do have stuff. I guess I'd rather have Bale, right? Veil or some of this? What do we think? I think I'd rather have Bale, right? They, they have to have a cyborg, a cyborg plan, though. Do I assume that they cyborg into Belcher? Because they just have to have something. They just have to have something. Yeah, I I guess I'm, I'm assuming that they have... This is going to be too slow anyway, so I am going to play around my opponent having something like a Belcher cyborg plan. I'm not sure that it's that clear cut, but... Veil stops back to surgical. Yeah, it's it's a little bit narrow though. Okay, I mean with this hand we cannot if we don't die on turn one, 
we were actually fine because then we just have bog. But if, if they have it, they turn one, obviously we just lose again. Like there's there's nothing that we can do. So we kind of just have to hope that we're gonna get a turn. If we do get a turn, I think that um, it could be cool. And we can play a little bit of the longer game. So now we hold up Bog. I kind of wish that these were the number calls actually, which is funny. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's go with that one. And I, I'm just going to fetch right now. Just in case. Okay, we continue developing mana here. Get Temple Garden. Get another Flagstones. Reclaimer. So if we get sick on Reclaimer, we lose to Echoing Truth. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna scavenge news here. Just so we can kind of diversify what we're doing. One reclaimer is enough to do what we want to be doing. And if we get to untap and we get to see it for oof, I think that we're gonna be in good shape. All right, okay, so maybe my opponent does not have the sideboard plan. I don't think I like Operation. I think I'd rather have Knight because it's uh, I can find it with Zenith. Dryad doesn't excite me too much. Maybe we can do this. Operation is another answer to Belcher. We have to have Surgical. Uh, I mean, this is this is an alternative. Like, I think I have to keep this. We have turn one deafening silence with once upon a time. Yeah, I agree that three CMC creatures don't matter at all, that it's the one CMC creatures, but when I get there, like all of, all of the cards that are in my sideboard cost are irrelevant or cost three mana or more. So I'm choosing between uh, three, mana, three mana creatures or him, so. Like, it's just what we're working with. Okay, so we're just gonna die here. Yeah, we're just dying here. Yep. All right. Uh, 
maybe once upon a time to get fairy macabre we don't we don't have i tried mind break traps uh rodney and they they were bad <laughs> so so i just cut them In fact, mind break traps were were in my sideboard for the longest time, and it they were just terrible. They were, they were consistently underwhelming, and I just cut them. It is possible that because of once upon a time, ooh, splinter tomb. We're keeping this. Um, it is possible that because of once upon a time, we should be playing some number of what's his name. I'm not sold on it, but it's possible. I think I waste here turn one, right? That's an awful draw. Every time you draw a Dryad Arbor, it's, it's the ultimate feel bads. I was playing around days, that's why I did not... I wanted to Wasteland there, maybe if they don't have a land. Fremokai would be best versus soups. Better than surgical, you mean? Yeah, it sounds like it, right? Uh, I could play Thalia here, but I think that starting to accrue Reclaimer value is going to be more important. Yeah, that was, that was kind of a weird brainstorm there. I wonder what my opponent was looking for. Next turn we can Thalia plus activate Reclaimer, which is nice, so we can continue with the engine. We can bog that Uro, but we don't need to just yet. Um, thank you, thank you for that follow. Borac Boracon. Sure. Now the question is, do we play around Plow? Wait, so my opponent just... They're playing Bolt? Okay. Well, I guess we're getting bogged then. Classic Mountain in the Uro deck. Love to see it. Let's play Thalia and Field of the Dead. Another bolt, okay. Jeez, they might be really digging. So I guess we don't play around days. It's pretty good though, I'll do that. They did have the force. I'm saving this Vesuva because I think that we might be copying this Mujuka Bog. If my opponent finds an Uro. Their deck plays two days. Okay. Try to be aware. I might also just copy field. Never mind. Get out of here. Oldie 4, thank you so much for the subscription there. Welcome back for the 20 month streak. Hello there. Hello, Ollie. Hello, hello. Um, I guess so, right? Let's get that top land out of the way. This card is so, so good. <laughs> this card is so, so good. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> this card is so, so good. <laughs> uh, 
Good stuff, good stuff. I'm not gonna attack though, they might have an Ice Fang or a removal spell here, then they trade here and they, they end up with a 3-3 three, three and we end up with nothing. Alright. Zero cards in hand. Just Elk Tanoko, yeah I know. Um, so one, two, three, four. We play a Sharn. Get a little bit of card advantage here. Find a couple of lands. Do I want to once upon a time here? Cracking the food? There's nothing else they can do. The thing is, yeah, I think I'm just gonna pass. We can steal once upon a time if we want to, but like this just represents a, a zombie token next turn. So that seems like something I'm interested in holding on to. Very interesting. I think I'm just gonna hold on. I'm just gonna get the field here. And we start making zombies, we win that way. Go for your Sharn. Swing with this dude. Oh, I guess that my fetch line is blanked, right? So I guess, whoops. Because this is this affects both players. The, yeah, but it says that players can't pay life. You see, so we, I, I'm not given the option. I mean, I'm not, not that worried about it. Like, feel, feels like my opponent's fetch lands are a lot more important than mine. Like that one, for example. They might have a removal spell for one of these. I think that's still fine. They don't have a removal spell. So that's just a bad attack then. Because now my zombies just trail. Um... Now we double the zombie production. And then Banoko for modern, because Skyclave keeps it in check. That's exactly how you want to think. That is exactly how you want to be thinking. This one I want. Plows are interesting. Deafening Silence also quite interesting. Veils I feel like I do want. I 
Oof might low key be great. They have Arcanist though, so that makes things so awkward. I guess I don't like the Archon. How did the Omnath Reclaimer League go? I was... Uh, we, I mean, I went 3-2, but... I didn't like the deck. The cost of playing those cards is just so high. We had a couple of matches where we died with... Like a Skyclave, an Omnath, and an Uro in hand, and we were like not able to cast any of them. <laughs> Then on the other hand, we played against John a couple of times, and both times is we just two owe them because there's literally no way that they can keep up with what we were doing. Okay, I'm just gonna bend the the oof. Yeah, I'm thinking that maybe I actually do want the swords. Veil is sick and everything, but... Is my opponent going to counter this? There's no way they're going to counter this. That's what I thought. Um... Oh man, these are so tempting. I think I'm actually getting Thalia here. Just go turn one, Flagstones. Turn two, Flagstones, fix my mana. Just uh, turn two, Thalia, after fixing my mana with Flagstones. End step brainstorm. That's a play that you can do, I reckon. They play stifle. Well, we can't really do anything about stifle, right? So since since we can play around it, it's just like it is kind of what it is. So there goes the Guardian of Thraven. I think I'm gonna dryad. Blade Red Ivor. It's kind of whatever. Man, I drew Red Ivor both games. <laughs> Feels so bad. <laughs> and every time I draw Red Ivor, I'm like, Ugh, why am I doing this to myself? Three mana for what? A braid. Yes, I guess that's a card. That's something.
Do we also play Wasteland? I couldn't have played around. I couldn't have played around back to basics regardless though. Wilt, that's funny. There's no way this guy survives. But if they attempt to bolt it, I can go. I can just blow up my own land, which is cool. Mm -hmm. uh... Yeah. Go get a basic planes. We don't get to ramp, but. Now we get to plow our canis. There's the force. Beaching Udo. Oh shit, we can't. Oh fuck, I forgot. I thought that we still had the dry to play. Whoopsies. All right, if they want to attack, they have to chump attack into my to my reclaimer. God damn it. Sure. So now they can actually bolt it. Fuck. <clears throat> We can't find the planes. Oh man, this is brutal. Why punt? I would have I would have made the same play regardless. Uh, we're not one of 4.3 aim just yet. We're not one of 4.3 aim just yet. They can give me a lave and steal my Scusi. Chose to not shuffle, so that's probably bad news for me. They might, they think they just found another removal for this. No, why wasteland? No. All right, that's something. That's how we come back, chat. That is how we come back. Just wait for it. And stop thinking pretty well themselves as well. Okay, so we're gonna put this on top and we're gonna pay for this one. Go get a forest, play a sharn. Go get another forest. We have no planes to go get. But I feel like Field of the Dead is going to be one of the few ways that I might be able to get out of this. So we're going to take four down to seven. Opponent is going to probably abrade this. That's, that's, I, I guess that they can't. Never mind. Yeah, they, they actually have to pull there. 
Okay. Zenith. Zenith. They don't have removal. They can steal my Dryad, however. If, if my opponent hadn't top-decked Oko into Arcanist, I think that we were actually going to win this game. We could have beaten the Oko by itself, and we could have beaten the Arcanist by itself, but not both. It's kind of brutal, honestly. With how this game went. But this deck can really contend with with pile style decks. So they're trying to figure out, okay, so what if I steal the Dryad? That kind of stuff. Food is green. We're one mana short of um, Zenith for prime time. Here, I think I'm gonna chomp the Dread Horde. I'm gonna just block the Dread Horde so I have more stuff in play for next turn. If they have Lightning Bolt, we lose. The game would have been very different if you were able to source that one turn that you had the Reclaimer. My opponent had a Force. Professor. They would have, instead of forcing my Skyclave, they would have forced my, my Plowshares. So we would we would be in the same spot. At least the opponent chose to Shuffle there. I think we're going to have to Zenith. Uh, for Raminep. If they have a counter spell, obviously, that's that's game, but if we seen it for Raminep, that allows us to get two zombies this turn. And hit our land drop. Again, we're dead to bolt, so I'm not playing around it. I'm just ignoring it. But this actually allows me to get some traction. If there's a lightning bolt, we... Yeah, okay. Game three. Am I crazy to want to cut this? We can also cut a wasteland, I guess. Let's go with this. Hmm. 
If I had a plow or something, I think I would keep this, but we have no way of stopping an early arcanist, so. Here we do. I'm also kind of interested in shipping this dryad, but I, I think that might be wrong. You have to ship this horse of plowshares. Force isn't good enough? No, I don't think so. I don't I don't really care about destroying the astrolabes, right? I on, I'm only bringing in um, Knight of Honor because he's a two durable answer to back to basics, which sometimes I simply cannot play around. I think I'm jamming Reclaimer on one though. <clears throat> And I'm gonna lead on fetch land because uh, just gonna bottom plow. Uh because if I top take another fetch land then my reclaimer is already protected from my reclaimer is already protected from lightning bolt. Yes! Yes, chat! That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Turn to Arcanist. Okay. Yeah, I think we are in really good shape here. I think we are in very, very good shape. Um, Plax stones, thank you very much. Play this, say go. I am confident because I have access to Veil here and this place around Force of Negation. That's a card. Now I don't even need to plow this. Get flax stones. Now we don't have to plow this, we can just. This is good, this is good. Just go with Valakut. So we get planes. Go get Valakut. Valakut here. And I'm definitely interested in wastelanding my opponent. They can Oko me here, but we can actually answer the Oko. Like they're forced to Oko the Dryad. Play Reclaimer. You have to be kidding me that it works this way. Oh my god. Oh, so I guess I just missed lethal, right?
I have no idea this is how this works, but apparently it works this way. Vesuva Kopivalakut killed him? Whoops. Misclicked. <laughs> not punished. Don't worry about it. Sorry, a point. I'm not slow rolling you. I'm just stupid. <laughs> I had no idea this is how this works. I'm going to be honest. I had no idea this is how this works. Spike with the raid, 320 people, welcome all of you. Welcome all of you to a Legacy stream. We're playing some Green White Reclaimer in Legacy. JGR1313, thank you for the follow. You lost play play for 15 and 0, brutal. Yeah, for those of you that were not aware, Spider was having an insane run with Jeskai, uh, Jeskai, uh, Flag fires? Is that is that what you call it? But yeah. Meanwhile, on on Wednesdays in this channel, I do enjoy to play some Legacy. So we are playing some Legacy today. And what I'm doing is I'm brewing with uh, Elvish Reclaimer, obviously. Because <laughs> why wouldn't I be brewing with Elvish Reclaimer? Arquito, right, thank you for the follow. And so far. This deck can actually really hang with the fair decks in the format. We just learned about layers. So if you have a Dryad and you have a Valakut in play and your opponent Okos your Dryad, you still get your Valakut triggers whenever you play any lands. Biggs, thank you for the follow. Flagfires is a good name. Yeah, I, I like Flagfires. You're using the title Last Modern Streamer. Yeah, Orsa. So that the the whole meme about the Last Modern Streamer is something that happened when uh, the Pioneer format became a thing. Everybody started playing Pioneer whenever that, when that happened, and I was still streaming Modern because I'm stubborn like that, and. I started calling myself the last modern streamer because I was actually the last modern streamer. Because everybody was very hyped about Pioneer and I wasn't. And then I just run with the meme, which is which is honestly the only responsible thing to do with memes. You just have to run with them, right? I'm just surprised the meme is still like, oh yeah, for, I mean, what are memes? If they die, right? Point attempts to wasteland immediately. Roll, draw rhyming up excavator. These are the games that I like to play. Uh huh. So we're playing against DNT again, I think. I think I care. I definitely care about being ahead on board, for sure. But next turn, what I can do is I can uh, tracker plus get the fetch to draw a card. I could also just, even if, if they answer the ramming up, we can uh, flag stones and get two triggers that way. Remember when people cared about Pioneer? Those were the times, right? This is pretty much irrelevant. Definitely interested in main facing this right here. Never told me to not run with scissor, never mentioned anything about running with me. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, running with memes is fine. Wow, my opponent is playing the tech as well? They're not. We gain three life, great exchange for us. <laughs> No, but that's the reason why, I, obviously, why I main face cracked, right? So my opponent is obviously going to be doing that. So I, I think I want to draw a card first. We drew a Dryad. 
So let's do this. We're obviously not going to be attacking. And I'm, I'm definitely getting Windswept hit here because next turn we can field and we can start spitting out zombies. And that's probably going to be the way that we win. Don't run with memes about scissors. Wow. We got a joker in the chat here. Sku sneakily a 3-3, I know. They will never see it coming. What what do you got, opponent? Flicker Wisp. Flicker my clue! Honestly, it seems like they should have flickered their own dude. But who am I to say? Uh, we're gonna take four here. We now that Flicker Wisp is a little bit scary because if it starts wearing a batter skull, it might be tough to beat. So let's just draw a Balakid, shall we? Never lucky. So that's going now. Would you stream some drum stuff one day? Just became aware of your percussion prowess. Oh, thank you, Ganja Sensei. Um, I don't think so. Maybe, but like, it's what am I supposed to stream? It's that is the only issue that I have with streaming something drum related. It's just like, what am I supposed to stream? Because like, I can't really play songs, right? Because of the and. NDA thing. Uh, the NDA, you know, like the, the copyrights thing. Okay, so we might just die to this batter school, so we need to find... I guess I, I just have to find a Valakit or a Titan here. Zenith also, also wins. Snowcore's Plains does not. I can survive one more turn. My opponent should not block with anything. Yep, they found the right line. Um, just gonna go see. Let's move on to the next one. Start spinning. Stop spinning my wheels for no reason. We cannot beat the the big big flicker wisp. That would have also been pretty good. All right. So this matchup is pretty good though. We beat it earlier today already. Um, cut bog. Yeah. Hey, Scott. How's it going? Just realized this was legacy and not modern when I saw the ghost. Yeah, I know, right? That's that's the good thing. That's the good thing about uh, about you know streaming reclaimers is just I just change the overlay, but I leave the deck name there, right? Because it's always green white reclaimer regardless of format. So, do I have an ergonomic chair? No, I have one of those like gaming chairs things. I think that this is a ergonomic so I guess the yes is the answer but um, but yeah I think that that's I think that it's pretty good like it, it's okay I can stream for like four hours or something and be okay you know but I still need to stand up The race car chairs are actually the worst. They are. This one has, uh, which helps me a lot, it has some lumbar support back here, 
which does which actually does wonders. I think that's kind of a secret. I don't know if, if it's good or bad. All I can tell you is that this one does it for me. So this hand is this card is excellent in the matchup. Sure, I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna get ready here. And we might find Reclaimer, so I'm gonna once upon a time on one. I like Herman Miller chairs, I need to get one. We have some at my work and they are awesome. All the big wigs have them. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds exciting, so. Open it moves to five, brutal. Yeah, let's get collector roof. Turn one mom is good. Turn one mom is definitely good for them. Gonna board here. Let's get the top line out of the way. That might be bad, actually. Now that I think about it, get in case they have ways out. The thing is that if this continues to go like this. We're kind of fine though. Like if, if they spend their turn wasteland in me. It's kind of fine. And I'm showing them the white source first because of um, source of pleasures. Like my, my opponent simply cannot block with the mom as long as I'm representing white sources. Thirty-eight. I'm thinking about Alzheimer's. <laughs> Get Savannah. Cast once upon. We don't have enough white sources to plow plus operation, so. Wow, this is like a ridiculously good exchange for me. My opponent was playing it so well, what happened there? And also on the turn where we can punish them, which is hilarious. <laughs> Exactly on the turn when it mattered the most. That's when my opponent decides to to be a little bit reckless. That is so good for us. Plow Reclaimer. Path Reclaimer. That's a costly one. That is a costly one. Another dryad. So I think we probably just have to operation this thing right here. So now my opponent needs to draw a land in order to play this batter skull. But I guess they have no yeah, they have they have missed one land drop, which they have there. Alright, there's the skull. Eight. 
into it. That's a, that's a pretty solid draw. Things are looking fine here, I think. No locks, thank you. Wisp. Council's judgment for my library. Brutal. I wanted that library opponent. God damn it. Can we draw a Knight of Autumn? Rhyming Up Excavator. Winston and Zenith. <laughs> uh, I think I'm, I'm going for Excavator. Excavator is just insane here. Um, let's get Temple Garden. They kind of have to plow this now. Yep. Path on the excavator, so that gives me a token. Which means now I can double block this thing. Wisp. Uh, this was a bad... This was a bad line from my opponent because... Like, now I know to not block. If my opponent had attack, I might have double blocked just to get rid of the token, and then they blink their own battle skull, and then they take over from there. I'm definitely killing this skull, though. Let's get the superior forest. This whip this wisp is gonna clock us fast. Oh, this is legendary. My opponent can bounce it. That's annoying. This that looks fun. Yeah, this this deck has been a ton of fun. Oof, this so much work this game. And it's funny because it was always like not quite the card that my opponent could afford to kill. So now we can start attacking with the Yasharn. Not playing around Cataclysm. What do I think about the state of Modern? Good question. I think it's it's good. I've been having a lot of fun in Modern. I think that you can do a lot of things. And you can brew. Which is something that you cannot say always about Modern. Sometimes you can brew. But sometimes like the, the format is a little bit too hostile towards brew. Uh, but I have been like 3 2 inconsistently with random brews, and it's been cool. Crimson Zenith waiting room, exactly. We still have one more fetchable with this Misty. Two more fetchables because of Dry Diver. <laughs> of course, we're gonna draw the Dry Diver. Why wouldn't we? But yeah, I I've been having a lot of a lot of fun in modern. I think it's a good time in the format. Uh, we probably have to ship this. Much better. Don't regret choosing Esper Bible. This deck still looks fun. How is the matchup against Rock Devil and Snowco? Uh, pretty good. 
I have felt pretty favored against most fair decks. And by most, I mean all of the fair decks. All right, so once upon first, Reclaimer, Hog. Vintage is better than Legacy Change your mind. Why? <laughs> if you if you like Legacy, if you like Vintage better, sweet. I have not played that much Vintage personally. Like I only played one league and one event. That's it. That's all of my Vintage experience. So it's very very limited. Uh, so that doesn't do anything. Just gonna library. I could also Zenith. But the problem with Zenith there is that if my opponent has a plow, then they effectively time walk me. Bilma, nine, nine, uh, 1999, 91, sorry. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, so, huh. This is, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hold on to this one actually. That one might prove it useful later on. Uh, seen it for one here is great though. We go get our reclaimer. The leg looks screw versus very fast decks. Yeah, yeah, you basically cannot beat the the really fast combo decks. Um, like oops, all spells, Belcher, those. Those decks you can't beat. You do have, against the slightly slower combo decks, you have a significantly better shot. So against stuff like uh, Storm, I have felt like I have a positive matchup, for example. Sword of Fist and Fire. Is this stock now in Legacy DNT? If so, why? Why is that stock? I wish library were brainstorm. I think I'm just gonna waste that Richard import. It's kind of annoying. How is sword the grab there? I don't know. Like now my opponent could attack and expose their mom, but that seems really bad. Is a lock cyber card in the entity to go even hooded manners, etc. Okay. I mean I'm not saying that it, it make it doesn't make sense. I'm just saying that this hasn't been a thing in forever, basically. Yeah, I, I don't think this is a good play from OP. Unless their last card in hand is like the absolute nuts. Like now we just bin this flax stones, which is not doing anything. But now they're they exposed their mom. So we put this on top, put this on top. Yeah, Yashan has been pretty legit actually. I actually care about blowing up the sword a little bit more than the mom. The exposer mom is <laughs> something I was expecting to hear. Yeah, 
those are the kind of sentences that you can you can expect to, to hear in a legacy stream. Um, honestly, we're we're drawing quite poorly. We are drawing quite poorly. But unless I, unless I find something very okay, so my opponent just has no heart, no cards in hand anymore. Yeah, op opponent's mom is being pretty loose. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah, that's exact that's exactly what I was expecting. Because now that gives me a free shuffle. So I think that I could I think that I could play finds me a land. And most importantly it just it's a, it's just a shuffle. Um I guess that now that I did that I I, I can't just Caracas this thing, so we can continue pressuring. Spirit of the Labyrinth. That's a, there's our two for one. Sweet. Wonder what's the average age of chat when you stream Legacy versus Modern? I don't know. Like there, there's actually a pretty reasonable amount of young Legacy players. Te, thank you for the follow. Because we have access to Path, maybe I'm fine just forcing here. Wow. Sweet. That's also more life for her. Get a nice little two for one there. I'm not attacking with Stoneforge, it's interesting. GG's. Sup. Daddy is home and he's been drinking. Three and one. It always feels good to cast that. Yeah, regardless of format, just casting, casting Titan is always good. GG is really boring. Yeah, I, I, I was saying that I, I don't know, like this deck just feels so advantage against fair decks. Didn't realize fair decks are playable in this format. Yeah, because fair decks have force of will. <laughs> now, this is viable for legacy, or are you just having fun? Uh, I mean, I've been doing winning. I've been doing some serious winning. Um, how to cyber and green white mirror in modern? 
Um, bring in Night of... I mean, obviously it depends on your list, but like bring in stuff that kills Dryad is my main my main recommendation. Is Tracker good? No, I don't think so. Suck Fade in, think about the follow. When I build a version of this deck with or Orchis Lumberjack. Go nuts. Go nuts. Uh, one of the things that I really enjoy about this kind of deck is that it's always so, so flexible. Painter. It's important to get our basic into play real quick here. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I think we just have to move. Don't have the bolt. Don't have it. Play Thalia, pass the turn. Lotus Petal resolves <laughs> the Natty Oof. Uh, yeah, I guess we're doing this. We're not gonna get to dig deeper into our deck, but. At least my opponent is kind of locked between these two. Oh no. Okay, it's getting scarier. It's getting scarier, chat. Reclaimer. Um, Reclaimer access ball, access. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I'm just gonna reclaim her here, and I know that it's it's gonna sound weird, but I think I want to wasteland them. Uh, reason for that is so they if they answer my oof and then do they can't answer my oof and do more stuff in the same turn. I guess it doesn't do anything because of the welder. Actually, never mind. That was that was a bad play. What does their creature do? Yeah, so this makes it so everything is blue and it combos with grindstone. Which is for three mana, you tap it, you target player mills two cards, and if uh, two cards share a color, then uh, they repeat this process. So basically, they mill you out with grindstone. Okay, we're not drawing well. <laughs> In case you were wondering, we're not drawing well. Oh, why didn't I attack with tracker? I'm, I'm an idiot. Like, I should be attacking with tracker, obviously. I missed that attack last turn. Ugh, that's bad. So now that what they do is they play main deck pyroblasts. So basically, pyroblasts are one mana vindicates while painter servant is in play. I could bog them here. If I bog them here, no, they they don't they don't sacrifice this. If I bog, still seems worth it. It also diversifies my lands. I don't like bog. Uh, what what am I supposed to do otherwise? What 
We're not drawing well, chat. We are not drawing well. Six. We still have the Suva. That's why I'm not worried. Now, the question is if I want to attack with Reclaimer just to clock them faster. They take it, they go down to 11. I think I, I just have to clock them faster. Because if they end step kill my oof, we just lose. They can't kill me on the same turn because they're not going to have enough mana, but... If, as soon as they find an answer for the oof, we're in trouble. Now we start triggering zombies so we can set up lethal for next turn. So I'm holding on to Reclaimer for this turn. So I think we, we got there. Do I have a knuckle? No. Knuckle doesn't really do too much though, right? I think we just can just get flagstones. No. Just an extra zombie. Savannah. Why not Cyborg Tabernacle? Have you seen my deck construction? <laughs> like, I, I'm trying to kill my opponent with zombies. <laughs> Tabernacle is great against me. <laughs> uh, this is good. This is good. We basically got a turn to kill that game. Doesn't Veil work here? I think Veil works in a very roundabout way, but if your opponent is savvy, they they can just name any other name and just, it doesn't do anything, obviously, right? So it's, it's definitely a five-head play, but I guess I'd rather have Titan than Tracker. They kind of do the same thing, but like Titan doesn't have the lack of synergy with, with Oof. Um... So this stops LED, this stops Lotus Petal. I'm trying to think what their list might look like. Mono Red Painter. Nah, I think I'm not interested in Yashar anyway. Sure. Well there. That guy's dead. And I think I'm doing this off of a basic place. I guess I don't have to do it just yet. Um, but I want to get my basics in play because my opponent is a Blood Moon deck after all. Another welder. Well, that's going to be an engine. I 
Having drawn the Bajuga Ball is obviously worst case scenario, but not really anything to do about it. War Color Trigger, thank you for that follow. So they don't have any artifacts in the graveyard, so I think I'm just gonna go for a plow on the Painter Servant. See what happens. Pyroblast. Sure. I'm gonna see it for oof. It worked one time, why wouldn't it work two times, right? Civil Library restricted to one? No, there's no restrictions in in legacy. Oh, I don't have double green. God damn it. I fucked up. Four mana. Card and the Great Creator. That's a card. Can protect Oof from Rev with Force at least. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. But this Force might be very, very important. And unfortunately, there's no way that I can really force anything here. Bad. Are you safer as you call him? Okay, so if we find the green source, we're kind of okay. My opponent's car doesn't do too much. They have City of Traders, so they cannot lattice. I think we just YOLO here, right? We just YOLO cast our Titan and start pressuring. We might die out of nowhere. And our Thalia is actively hurting us, which is funny because now we can't force a bigger. Here I go, OP. I don't think we can keep waiting because, like, any turn that we, every, every turn that we wait, it just gets worse for us. So, oh, I should have attacked with Thalia. That was bad. I misclick there. Oh, please kill my Thalia somehow. Yes! Yes! That is awesome! <laughs> that is fucking sick! 
Why would they kill my Thalia there? Oh, because they want to lattice me, but that's that's a really bad idea to try to lattice me. I think that my opponent might have fucked up there. They went and got Maze Mind Tome. Resolves. <laughs> My opponent might have thrown this one. Oh, my cards aren't green anymore. That's a good point. I totally forgot about that one. Sheesh. Yeah, I totally forgot about that interaction. Um, good point. So I think we just... Send everything at Karn. So we send there. We were allowed to attack, so my opponent does not have um, the thing, the Reb. So they jump here. Karn only takes three, so let's block and let's block. And the other two can go to them. And the reason that I do this is that if they the only way that they that the Karn can survive now is if my opponent blocks with both. And if they do, that means that the welder is gone, which means that my opponent probably can't win anymore. Just gonna get double wasteland, I think. Could have gotten a third green source just so I can force. Plus knight, but I think that it's... I'm just not gonna cast anything until it's lethal, basically. Oh no, I, I might actually get punished by that. Yeah, I actually should have done that because... No, because the Karn is dying, never mind. So they cannot Karn for bridge, plus bridge in the same turn. Not having grass in the sideboard seems wrong. Yeah, I don't know. Usually, since this decks has started playing Karn, I think that that's what they do. They just play one, uh, one of each copy, one painter servant, and one grindstone in the board. Honestly, my knowledge of um, this deck is basically zero. So. Upkeep Scry. You got it. These blue black zombies look pretty dope. <laughs> look at my opponent filtering mana like a pro. So they're gonna do it on my upkeep. Which is fine. Still got the force. So if they have one plow, we lose. But this is just lethal here, right? Is there a better time to do this? I 
think now it's the time to do this. If they have the Pyroblast, they got it. They do. All right. I don't think there's anything that we could have done differently, really. Super close game. There's no way I'm supposed to bring in Surgical. Nah, there's no way I'm supposed to bring in Surgical. I do like Scavenger News, for example. Just main face night on bottom. If I had main face night on bottom, then I'm I am putting my. No, also I wouldn't have done anything because my opponent brings back the dude on end step, and I didn't have three green sources, which was the issue. So I could not force a vigor and night of bottom. I could only one or the other one. Guess respected the painter too much. No, I mean, my opponent just played well, and there was not anything that we could have done, I don't think. She has no answers whatsoever, it's a little bit too greedy in my opinion. I do like this hand though. We bought on this Savannah. Actually, I do like the land drop, I think, so I th I'm gonna bottom the Zenith. Might regret that later. Did you consider rest in peace with this deck? Uh, we actually have a lot of um, value engines from the graveyard, rhyming up excavator and stuff like that. So, yep, Blood Moon doesn't really do anything. When we want to answer that, we will. Let's get basic planes. So I'm gonna get flagstones here. So many plows. Um, yeah. It's fine. Seen it. Oof. Uh, oof is not doing anything. There, there's no need for me to do that. So. So now this guy is a 3 4. Get another forest. I kind of don't want to answer the the Blood Moon just yet.
<sighs> yeah, I think I need to see it here. But I know I don't know what to see it for. Knight of Autumn is the obvious thing, but what to destroy is not obvious. Ramming up is definitely interesting. Another Reclaimer is, is probably the fastest clock. The problem is that my opponent for sure has like a Tormod script or something. Just gonna destroy the Rhinestone. Knight is enforced. Yeah, I mean, if I, if I were getting something for value, I guess I don't have tracker, never mind. Spell sky. You got it. All right, so I got a wasted plow there, but that's fine. Do that plow. My opponent cannot answer everything here. They bolt the Thalia. Karn. Wanna see their sideboard? It's kind of weird. Like they, they have been making some strange plays. Uh, we're gonna have to send both at Karn so they cannot minus. They might have another lightning bolt, they do. Okay, so the good thing is that at least they wasted a bolt on that thing. The issue now is that they can find uh, instant air bridge. Yeah, I know that they bridge. I think that's what they're trying to set up. That's funny, they're just drawing Astrolabe so they can't empty their hand. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> sure. I think we're gonna have to plow here, unfortunately, because we cannot, like, if they lock me out with bridge, then we're fucked, so. Please don't top deck something great, damn it. So now they're gonna plus on Astrolabe. And then we again need to draw something. Yeah, my opponent has been top decking better than I have, to put it somehow. It's 
Something good, please. How about a waste of a draw step? That really sucks. Now they're finally going to be able to, to break through of this. Uh, we were so close. We still have so many good top decks. Now that's just... Now they can just lattice. Yeah, I mean, it, it was gonna happen, right? Like we had, we had a long time. We had a long time to draw into stuff. They don't have lattice. Oh my. Oh, but I keep on drawing, drawing Ugh. I just continue drawing nothing, so it doesn't help. Yeah, now my opponent has four cards in in hand. Like it, it might just be too much. But maybe, just maybe. No, don't do it. A braid plus bolt. God damn it, man. So this is good. This is okay. This, I guess, does stuff too. This is good. Okay, so I think I'm gonna draw towards finding apparition. Zenith. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a second field because this, this allows me to put on the fastest clock. Why do they not have lattice? That is so crazy to me. Also, I drew all four Source of Pleasures, so this guy is good to go. So now we have to draw fours. No, just another blank. Man, that's such a sad way to go. Like, my opponents just outdrew me by a lot, even though I, like, it just didn't, it, it kind of just didn't matter what I did. Okay, so I guess they were just like playing around stuff and they did have the lattice. Jeez. <laughs> well, I guess we were not winning that one, chat. <laughs> I guess we were not winning that one. That's okay though. Uh, this The list was fun. I'm thinking if there are any changes that I would like to make. I think we could cut one of the wastelands for something else. 
maybe move it to the sideboard. Ewit is a card that is is always interesting to me in this kind of decks. So I always, you know, think about potentially playing it. Second library could be interesting as well. The thing is that second library makes our our mid range and like fair matchups better, but like we're not really losing those. We're losing against the unfair matchups. All right, we're going to take a very short break so I can go to the restroom and set everything up, but and we're gonna play another league. We're gonna play another league with this list. I don't think I want to make any changes just yet. I might make any changes at the end of the of the stream. But if you are enjoying uh, the, the content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.